Hi, I'm Axel Mulat. This week, I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to use the Google Native AdSense ads. Replacing this type of ad, this is the text and display ad to Native AdSense ad, can help to increase your Google AdSense earnings. To make this work, you must have a knowledge in HTML and CSS to tweak your site together with the native AdSense ad. We'll be replace this type of ad because this is the text and display ad. We'll be replace this to, to the native ads. And also in the posts, we'll be replace Here, you have an AdSense ad here. We will be replace this ad to native ads too. So let's get started. First, of course, you have an AdSense account. Go to your Google AdSense account. Go to Home and Add Units and click Add New. And this is the three type of ad units, the text and display ads, which is this type of ad. And there have a new here, the native AdSense ad, the in-feeds ads, and the in-article ads. We'll be use this in-feeds ads to the site. Click select. In this section, there are a four type of native AdSense ad. Image above, the image on the side, and the title above, and the text only. You must choose the ad with image because this is more likely engage of the visitors on your site. And let's click this view example. And as you see guys, this example is very similar on my post list in the home page. Title above, image on the left side in the description. Title above, image in the left side in the description of the posts. And this is the native ads. So I'll be choose this type of ad and we'll be put this type of ad here in the post list. So, title above, so select. First step is adding the ad unit name. Enter the ad unit name and click this global options to fold up. And as you see guys, there have a six options here, global, image, headline, and so on. Again, guys, having a knowledge in HTML and CSS has advantage to use this type of ad. Because we will blend this type of ad to the site, we will be match the color of the title of the post, the description of the post, we will be match the size of the thumbnail, and let's click this global options. And as you see guys, the font on this option is selected by default is Roboto. Click this. And as you see, guys, there have several fonts here. Choose a font here, guys, closest to your site. If your site use this Arial font, choose this Arial. If your site use this Verdana font, choose this Verdana font. If in case your font doesn't exist here, replace your font. In my case, I replace my font to Roboto. I will show you my CSS on my site and I import the Roboto, the font family of Roboto. I grab this import URL in Google Fonts, fonts.google.com and this is the Roboto. Click add and click this, click family selected. You can customize choose 300 400 regular and embed and as you see there have a import option here i import the robot font in my css import and this is the usage of the font font family roboto sans serif and i import the roboto and i use the font family in the body tag 
to Roboto and my site is a Roboto font. Back to the site. This is the Roboto font. I replace the Roboto font to blend the AdSense native ads. And choose the background color to none. Okay, this is fine guys. This global option, the image is important. Actually, I have a cheat sheet here for image. And this is fine guys, left align because my blog list is left align image. And I will be change this to pixels. And the size of this image is in Google Chrome. Cl click the more tool in the developer tool and we will be inspect the size of the image, the primary image. Click this, click this selector, click the image and hover. And as you see guys, the width of this image is 298 pixels and the height is 168 pixels. Let's back to the option and we'll be replace this to 298 pixels. Okay, actually I'm already playing on this. This is not accurate to my site. I will be replace this to 290. Just play this with guys to blend on your site and the uh, roboto the width and uh, let's click to the headline this is fine guys the padding and headline is long and the font color is this is my font color and this color is match to the post title this post title and we'll be choose the maximum font 24 this is the maximum font and the padding is 10 this is fine and let's choose description and we'll be choose the 16 pixels on the description and the color of the text will be match the color of this text too so my color is 444 copy and paste that to match the color and padding 10 that's fine guys and also the color of this is match to my site 444 and the button is back to URL okay back to button and we'll be match the site too this is the color of my site 9b 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 and this is the this line this is 9b 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 I forgot one option in the description click this bold guys in the description click bold and as you see the font is bold and let's scroll down and click this save and get code copy the code copy and will be replace this to native ad this is the WordPress site guys so I will be go to my index.php and this is the previous ad, remove that and this is the native ad code. Scroll down and this is the second one ad. Remove this ad and paste the ad like that. And this is the second one add here. This is the add and this is the first one. Control F5 in your keyboard. And now guys, the AdSense native ads is on my site.
as you see the color is blend to my site the title the description of the ad is blend to my post title image and post description and also i already restyle this in css so i match to this visit site on adsense native ad and read more and the font of this post title is not match will be set this to small later and as you see guys the second one here is to the adsense native ads okay if you have a knowledge in css you can set this to small size to match this title ad and developers tool this is for developers tool choose the title and we will be set the font on this click click this h1 font size is 1.5 m okay this is close size to the ad and as you see guys it match also will be replaced in the css index title control f and 1.5 m save okay so if you have a knowledge in css this is easy to you if you want to learn about html and css i have a link in the video description just check the video description below and as you see guys it match to my site it blend to my site and this technique guys can help to increase your earning in adsense displaying the native ads on your site for the first time takes time this type of ad sometimes it will show sometimes not replacing by image type of ad i can't take too long this video this is my quick tip on how to use the google adsense native ads on your site if you have a question on this video kindly fill in the comment box section and i'll be response as soon as i can like and share this video guys to other people you know especially in social media facebook twitter and google plus as well and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel to get updates every tuesday every week once again guys my name is axel mulat see you next tuesday bye for now